Lions in year three of the Jimbo Fisher era. It's the Aggies playing host to the Vanderbilt Commodores. Mike Morgan with Heisman Trophy winner Andre Ware. Taylor Davis is patrolling the sidelines tonight. And we are excited at post-COVID. This is actually a pretty good home field advantage considering what we've been through lately. Toe beats leather were underway and Vanderbilt will have the football first at the 25 yard line. Seals will start things off in the shotgun on first down. They'll go to the ground game. Not much doing there. Wrapped up near the line of scrimmage was Marlowe. And on the stop was Michael Clemens. Aggies show blitz. Quick throw deflected at the line of scrimmage. Dr. Pepper Fansville giving fans the keys to the ball game on that pass at the line. The line to strength this Aggies defense on third and long. Draw play. Big hole left side. And it's Marlowe racing out of bounds near midfield at the 48-yard line. And Javion Marlowe, the junior running back, kind of a misdirection play, gets a great block by their, their uh, center, Grant Miller, right in the middle, hits it right in stride, a nice big hole, and when a back uh, got some action early in his career. On first down, they'll keep it on the ground, left side, and nothing doing that time. Marlowe is drilled. A couple of Aggies there leading them of that front four this year for Texas A&M, led by Mike Elko, the defensive coordinator. Passes complete at the 45 of the Aggies. That's number 19, the senior Chris Pierce. And that is speaking from experience, my man. Yeah, I know. You. First down and 10 from the Aggies 40-yard line. Again to the ground. Again near side, and strung out. Great pursuit there by a number of Aggies. No gain on the play for Marlowe. And a true freshman at quarterback and seals out of the gun on second down. Another draw play between the tackles, and this time it's Wakefield tripped up. Here on third down and four. Wakefield in the backfield to the right of Seals. Rolls out right. Cox and fires complete at the 30. And finally knocked down around the 20-yard line. That'll be first down yardage for Cam Johnson, the junior out of Brentwood, Tennessee. Seals the true freshman stepping in under center. This is something Todd Fitch brings to the table, the new yeah, offensive exactly. coordinator. They'll go a lot of up-tempo, no huddle. And second down and eight inside the 20 of the Aggies. Seals. Again, hands off. Again, not what a run. Wakefield with second what effort keeps the legs churning. Nice job by Jamari Wakefield and defense to the first down marker. Fandy already three for three on third down. Not this time. Wakefield brought down from behind by big number 92, Jaden Peavy. He actually runs with the DBs and the wideouts in practice from 33 out. Perfect. And Vanderbilt, what an impressive opening drive, gets on the board first. The kick will bounce in the end zone, and the Aggies will take it out. Ill-advised play there wow. that time, and Vanderbilt stops them inside the 10-yard line. That's the freshman chase lane, and that's a freshman mistake, Andre. Leading core that is just full of talent. Anaya Smith is the lone back on first down. They'll fake it to him, swing it out, and it's bobbled. Dangerous play, bobbled by a tight end. And Jalen Weidermeyer has got a chance to have an all American. Yeah, that led the team, the six TD receptions. On second down, Mond under hot pursuit, rifles one, and that'll be incomplete. So already behind the eight ball, the Aggies offense. Th Commodores send four on third and ten. Mond from the pocket completes it. Rifles one complete to Chase Lane, the freshman. We hold on to that. What a catch. I thought maybe at the very end this ball came out. It was, certainly should have been caught. Now it's gonna they're oh, gonna rule it incomplete. Yeah. But Chase Lane to bring it out, gonna punt from their end zone. Constantino. The freshman punter and will take a friendly Aggies bounce and go out of bounds just inside the 40 yard lines. So he's got to spread the ball around and that keeps defenses off balance. Speaking of youth, the Vanderbilt offense back out there. That's the tight end on the reception, Bresnahan. Different coordinators overall 
Over the last six years at Vanderbilt. Pass complete in the flat near side. And that'll be Chris Pierce on the reception. He's a senior with a four wide look. This is when the ball's got to come out quickly. Pass is deflected, incomplete. Nobody really had a chance at that one. Bresnahan was the closest white jersey. The young player right now, the true freshman, Ken Seals, is playing. Smith, the punter, and Anaya Smith back to return and has to leave his feet and haul it in on the move at the 25-yard line. Oh, this is they, a talented I, bunch. You know, we I don't know if they can't can match. rule it out. Yeah, I mean, they outscored their opponents 275 to nothing, so that would be... That would definitely be a hard act to follow. <laughs> it's one thing to no, go I, undefeated. It's another thing not to give up a point. I do think it's a talented group that uh, they have everything in front of them. I mean, everything. It, a talented offensive line, a defensive front. That gives you a chance right there. And then you have a, a quarterback starting for, in this offense, for his third year, third consecutive year. Got to like their chances. Mond, 22 and 12, lifetime as a starter. Hands it off to Smith. On first down, Mon rifles it complete to 39. Breaking one tackle and racing down the sideline, trucking defenders inside the 40. And finally brought down is Anias Smith. What a catch and run by the sophomore out of Sugarland, Texas. Yeah, what you like as a quarterback and as a coach is that he catches the ball, gets right up the field. There's no wasted movement. It's a you hit it vertically, and then I'm going to get just physical with everybody and then you love that at the end two hands on the football to make sure that it doesn't come out they love their two-headed monster at tailback with Smith and Isaiah Spiller a pair of talented sophomores now in plus territory now first down and ten Mon gives to the up back and that'll be Spiller bulldozing ahead for a couple As he backs off Mon out of the pocket Missiles one complete, making defenders miss, and finally brought down inside the 25-yard line. That is the freshman Cam Brown, the son of the former Super Bowl MVP Larry Brown. That's nice, quick out, falls on time where he can do something with it after the catch, and then that's just determination in terms of the yards after the catch. Go ahead and give me a few more. His father was a 12th round draft pick of the Dallas Cowboys turned into a fine pro and again at MVP of the Super Bowl. From the 25 Mond surveys and in and out of the hands of Chapman first four man front on second and ten Mond little pitch play to the near side. Past the 20, inside the 10, lunging for the end zone, touchdown! Anaya Smith, what a run! I thought earlier Vanderbilt was going to go to it when they were down in the red zone against Texas A&M on their initial drive. Well, it's A&M that comes back with the option. Nice, quick decision by Kellen Mond. And then the rest, Smith just showing his athletic ability, getting him into the end zone. Boy, what a run after after the option pitch. Gotta love this duo of running backs for Texas A&M, Anaya Smith and Isaiah Spiller. Two extremely talented sophomores. A seven play, 75 yard drive. Extra point by Seth Small is knocked through and the Aggies take the lead. Dari, thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you guys later tonight. The best recap show. Important drive for this young quarterback, Seals, in terms Wakefield. of his confidence. Probes the left side and is stonewalled. Ran right into big number 92, Jaden Peavy, who goes 6'6", 295. Of oh, that Texas A&M defense. On second and nine. Little pit, little toss. Out to Wakefield for a short gain as we check in with Taylor Davis. Big shoes to fill there. With time, Seals uncorks a deep ball and it's somehow caught. What a magic reception there by Abdur Rahman. Ooh, who reels it in in front of Fuller. 
Excellent throw. Nice job of working and stopping as you're rolling. Just stopping to try, you know, find a way. Fit it in the best way you certainly can. And when you have one-on-one -on -one coverage, a lot of things happen. And sometimes in a good way for the quarterback. 27 yards and a first down. Commodores back in plus territory. A&M might have jumped. Passes on the money and bobbled incomplete. Intended for Abdur Rahman again. And again covered on the play by Fuller. He had a great year in 2018 and was hurt all of last season. But you start to see the size, body language so far, especially in an environment like, like he's playing in. Grinding out another run is Jamari Wake. They punted the football their last drive, but right now, and that first drive, just solid football. Again, breaking tackles is Jamari Wakefield. Finally brought down by the last level of defense, Leon O'Neill. Boy, he's one of those backs that over time during a game, you're, you're not willing to step in there and go one-on-one -on -one with him. You're going to find a shoelace, an ankle. You're not taking him on but above the waist in the fourth quarter. You mentioned the troubles for Vanderbilt offensively last year. They averaged 16 and a half points a game. That was dead last in the conference. They'll keep it on the ground. This time it's going to be Marlowe, but this time it'll be a loss on the play. O'Neill drops him down behind the line of scrimmage. And yeah, trying to find a one-two punch with Wakefield and Marlowe, and I think they've got it. You've got speed and uh, excellent zone runner. Again on the ground. Modest gain for Marlowe. Third down. They've got a third and 11 here. Seals, the freshman. Quick pass inside, and AM read it all the way. And the big fella that we just talked about, Leal, agile at six foot four, 290 pounds, and getting out in space making plays. Now, we know he can make plays between the tackles. When you can do that, that's just, just raw athletic ability. A force a field goal attempt here for Vanderbilt. Cook hit one earlier on the first drive. This one will be from 45 yards out. They say he's got a great leg from 50 and in. Snap is good, hold is true, and it will hook left. Plenty of distance, just started hooking on it. Thousand fans in attendance at Kyle Field. Watching with Kellen Mon, the senior, rifling one complete in the flat far side for a pickup of eight yards. Chapman on the reception sets up a second and two. Can a flare caught at the 35, juking his way to the 40 yard line as Jalen Preston as we check in with Taylor. Going to spread it around. Mond out of the shotgun with time over the middle complete that's Chase Lane with his second catch young man out of Houston Texas he has really come on from a hamstring injury that he suffered early in camp but this is the receiver that Kellen Mond said that he had the most chemistry with expect him to, to find Chase Lane in some third down situations because of that chemistry Guys have worked together throughout the offseason, caught a lot of passes. And their roommates. And their roommates. Never heard from the chemistry standpoint. Now from the 37-yard line of Vanderbilt. Mon on the handoff. Trying to find daylight to no avail. Tonight. A loss of a couple on the play. Second and 12. Five in the pattern for Mon. Goes underneath, completes it to his big tight end, Weidermeyer. And Weidermeyer. All 6'5", 265 of them, bangs his way to a couple of extra yards. Spiller the lone back. And Mond will feed him. Spiller, second effort, should have enough for the first down out to the 25. Catch about half of the overtimes in that one. Seventh play of the drive for the Aggies. Mond lobs one end zone incomplete. Well covered on the play by that Vanderbilt secondary. Go ahead and call the timeout. Rest his players a little bit and, and push the reset button. Aggies. Great move in the open field. Inside the 10 and 
down to the two-yard line. What a juke by Anias Smith. We were just talking during the break about that young man, and he, he just a football player. Can do it as a receiver last season, and then he comes back this year. We caught 22 passes last year and three touchdowns. Comes back this year has moved to running back, but the same production. Holding. Offense, number 85. Continue the second down and 19. Mon, quick pass, a inside screen, and now trying to weave his way out of traffic is Chase Lane going all the way across the field, and finally, they're able to do it here. Third and 13. Three man rush by Vandy. Mon has it knocked out of his hand. That might be a free ball. Scooped up by Vanderbilt and brought down at the 46-yard line. We'll see what they call on the play, but it's Mintz scooping up the football. The ruling on the field Whoa. was a fumble recovered by the defense. The pass rush of Andre Mintz to get to the arm of Kellen Mon and deflect the ball out. The fumble. Yep. Empty no hand. No doubt about it. Yeah. So Commodores okay. take over on the turnover. Texas A&M all over. You, you're gonna put yourself in a position to lose games. On second and nine, and lassoed down. It's like Leal on the tackle. Five-star recruit out of San Antonio. Third down and eight for the Commodores. Rolling out right, the freshman seals. On Corks one, into double coverage and incomplete. A tough one. Tried to thread the needle seat because you don't know what move he's gonna pull out at that particular time. He's going to field this one in the end zone. He's thinking about taking it out. Oh, he's going. Forget about a touchback. And not a good decision that he's wrapped up at the 10-yard line. Yeah, they're going to have a block in the back, so half the distance. Let that one go through During and the get return, the ball. Personal foul. Blindside block. Number 16 of the receiving team. The foul occurred in the end zone. By rule, the result of the play is a safety. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. So two points on the board for Vanderbilt. Crucial mistake by the Aggies. George, he got a, a pretty good talking to as well. Not only is it two points, it's possession and a severe momentum change for Vanderbilt. Returning it from the 10 and rocked at about the 27, 28 yard line. Those are problems. Uh, on your way to a win and big kind of hole fix, left fix side sorry about that Mike no problem Marlowe out to the 40 yard line the runner does an excellent job in terms of some positive yards on first down seals trying to get to the edge not exactly a burner they don't use him much to hit with seals Trips to the near side on second down and six. Breaking tackles, busting outside, and getting first down yardage is Javion Marlowe. I'll tell you what, he's uh, opened up some pretty good holes for Marlowe and Wakefield. 11 yard pickup for a first down. This one will be about a gain of a yard as Wakefield is spun down near the line of scrimmage. He's now the starting left guard and has found a home there. Give Todd Fitch a lot of credit, the new offensive coordinator. Little screen pass, and it'll be positive yardage for Jamari Wakefield. Well, I think he'll on his, on his own. Third and two. Vandy's been good on third down tonight, but not this time. Stonewalled at the line of scrimmage. I thought Seals should have kept that one. Kept little, gonna take, take, go ahead and take the penalty here. And I always say that I would, I would, ne I would always decline this because this is what Vanderbilt's wanting you to take the penalty, give them a little game. more room. Kicking team, five yard penalty, fourth down. Tanaya Smith does on this return. He's back to receive again. And he will wisely let this one bounce into the end zone. That's a teaching moment right there. And gets a big round of applause from the fans <laughs> after doing so. Well, try, try facing this way. On me, facing that way, yeah. Okay, now like turn around and then do a hair flip. Like break the other way. Like. Well, he learned that from his future wife, the cheerleader. 
On second down and 11. Mond sails that one a bit high, intended for Chapman. On third down, Mond under pursuit. Steps up in the pocket. Coxon fires. Almost intercepted. That was in and out of the hands of Deshaun Jerkins. And Caleb Chap, Vanderbilt, Mike. They're here to play. Cam Johnson back to receive the punt. It's a short one angling out of bounds. And Vanderbilt will take over with 2.59 to go in the first half, though, on the Alt Network. Arkansas and Mississippi State. How about Mike Leach? How about that catch? Beautiful Mike pass Leach. and a great job of holding on. That's Bresnahan, the tight end. Yeah, but Mike Leach. From the 40. Draw play. And not much there. Stacked up after a gain of about a couple miles. Playing fairly conservative for the freshman who's looked good so far. This time, though, a screen pass set up, and AM was all over it. Pass caught by Justin Ball, the tight end, but he was surrounded. And a third down at 11. Seals. Cox a deep ball. And nowhere near any intended target there. And I've been on the same path for Keller Mon. Nine of 16 for 99 yards, but but with a bunch of drops mixed in there. Fair catch in traffic. Hauled in by Anaya Smith. From the 16, Mon looking to run. Mon nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Sacked. Oh, Dangbo brings him down. Talked about the creases that this defensive line, and they're not blitzing. It's just the front four taking care of business, keeping Kellen Mon, and that might have been a designed quarterback draw. But by the way, no first half. Now my foot would still be on the gas. They will put it on the ground, and that will likely be the final play of on both sides of the ball. Bandy with no timeouts left, so that will indeed be the final play as Mon takes a knee. Get the ball first, and they can fix things in a hurry. And that might help improve their first half stats, which are brought to you by Zaxby's. Who would have thought Vanderbilt dead last in the SEC in offense a year ago, outgaining the Aggies in that first half? Mon out of the shotgun. Feeds the tailback, cutting back. This is Spiller. Spiller weaving his way through traffic in the open field. Spiller with one man to beat. Down the 40, past the 30, and inside the 20-yard line. Finally knocked out of bounds by Maxwell Worship. Well, you go to guys that have made plays for you. A fantastic job by the offensive line. A little zone blocking, and it allows Spiller the cutback lanes. And then it's just all Isaiah Spiller in the open field. Power, speed. Excellent job down the field by this receiving core of Texas A&M. It's Kaufman pushing him out of bounds after a 58-yard run. That's ball exactly spotted what at you, the 18. Exactly what you wanted if you're Texas A&M and Vanderbilt. The worst thing that could happen to you. Spiller Burrow is his way for a nine. Mon gets out of traffic. Tosses underneath at the 10. Five touchdown. Caleb Chapman. Well, you go all the way back to the open, and we talked about. Kellen Mond being able to make plays off schedule. He gets flushed from the pocket. Nice job by Chapman of just finding an area of the field and showing his numbers to the quarterback. And right on the money was Kellen Mond. That is the response every Texas A&M fan wanted to see. You think that little paint peeled off the locker room walls at halftime, <laughs> Coach Fisher? Yep. <laughs> Coach Fisher was fired up with our own Taylor Davis. I can only imagine what he told his team in the locker room. Three play, 75 yard drive. The Aggies, Kellen Mond, tosses a touchdown pass. 14 5. Kind of evaluating 
their performance. I, I'm no band expert, Andre, but I'm going to give them two thumbs up. I'll give them two thumbs up. I was cat half, but I, I stayed through that entire performance. Let's see the performance of this Vanderbilt offense here to start their first drive of this pass game start to come together this half. Taylor, good stuff, and certainly got to be happy with that offensive line and the job that they did. And we talked about this if you can to make it right. And so far, so good with this line tonight. They played well. Seals. Nice Rifles one complete. Beautiful throw and a beautiful catch by the tight end, Bresnahan. Facing it properly. Timing. And now 13 of 17 through the air is the true freshman Ken Seals. Try to get something on the scoreboard to keep you in this game on the road. Going deep down the sideline and a good recovery there by Miles Jones. Jousting all the way and making a great play on the pass. Outside, he is their best cover defense, man. Number five. Five yard penalty results in a first down. But it's going to give that offsides is going to give Vanderbilt an automatic first down. Off in the first half. Quick pass caught in the flat at the 40. And lunging forward is Tyrell Alexander, the senior with the transfer from Oklahoma State. We fake it to Marlowe. And like you said in the first half, Andre, these runs by Ken Seals just trying yep. to keep the defense on. Louisiana Tech knew already what this young man was capable of. Jitterbug cut that time. Continues for the Commodores under 10 minutes to play third quarter. Seals intercepted. First mistake of the game for Ken Seals. Damani Richardson was there. And I'm not sure where Ken Seals or what Ken Seals was hoping to find there. I'm going to tell you what he was hoping to find. His receiver going to the post. He just decided to take it up the field and into the end zone and on a vertical route. Where Seals is th clearly, in my eyes, throwing a post route. Yeah, with that kind of body re reaction, he's looking for Cam Jump. Touchdown to start off the third quarter. We'll see what they have in store here from the seven. Hand off left side. And spinning his way for extra yardage is Anaya Smith. Some player when he's got it in his hands. On second down, Mod going to keep it. Slide in wise move by the savvy veteran. The last thing you want to see is Kevin Mond take a shot. I think he's really matured into the formation. this position. The offense. More than four players to Five yard penalty. Second down. So you may have an offensive lineman that a little too far off the ball. I think they've got the best five up front. On. They'll try and plow ahead. Now this is third and seven. On, out of the gun, completes it up the 13. Nifty move by Preston, who will find first down yardage and then some. Jalen Preston. Right, this is a guy you love, especially around the red zone. 40 plus inch vertical jump. It's excellent in the open field after the catch. Lots of tradition here. At Texas A&M. Mon sets up and air mails that one. Bracketed coverage there of Jay. Kevin Mon now 11 of 19, 137 yards on the night, and he can do this as well. He can run, but he can fumble as well. He dropped it, coughed it up, and Vanderbilt has recovered. Boy, I tell you, it's been a just a give and take by Texas A&M for every great play they have or good play they have. There's something that rears its ugly head. Next spot, Mike, to go up top. Nice little play action, and let's, let's dial one up. And go to the ground instead with Wakefield. It's just so down the same page. He hasn't missed many throws tonight. Seals again going to hand it off to Wakefield, and again, no daylight. Third down, third down, it's third down and 11. Four wide formation. 
The freshman seals goes underneath complete and that will be good for a first down Abdur Rahman with his third grab of the night Here Abdur Rahman on a crossing route and a nice job of improvising Boy so close for Buddy Johnson, but just can't get a hand on the football and have a fresh set of downs. 16 yards on the hookup. Over Georgia OC. Reuniting with Bill Muschamp, the head coach. As Vanderbilt goes back to the ground game. Man to man to man, which is all this is, cover one. Pressure for the backside. Pass is complete. Boy, nice nice throw. throw. Good grab. Boy, back shoulder. We call it a fade stop when I was at Houston. But it's an intentional underthrow. Throwing to the back, back shoulder of the receiver to stop him in his tracks. And the, the uh, cornerback's up the field. 14 yards on the hookup to Ramon, who's become the favorite team reunited in Nashville. Second down and six. Feed to the near side. Wow, oh, not much shot. there. A whole lot of pad popping going on as Marlowe goes down and Buddy Johnson continues to rack up hard hits. Another third down of the drive. Third and five. Seals on a rollout. Looking deep. End zone. Caught it. Touchdown. What a throw. And another grab by Abdur Rahman. How about the throw? from the true freshman quarterback, Ken Seals. And this is on the move, and he puts it about the only place that he could put it for it to be a completion. Running out of room, over the outstretched hands of the defender, and what a job. By right himself through this game, no highs, no lows. And just kind of going about his business and, and doing his job, and no moments been. Love his composure. Absolutely. Does not look like a freshman tonight. Nine play drive, 43 yards. The to the ground game on first down and nothing doing. Spiller. Commodore showing blitz on second down. They dial it up. Mond, quick throw and completes it. Diving grab at the 30. That of course, the game going on simultaneous to ours. South Carolina, Tennessee. Mon over the middle, completes. One of his best passes of the night as he missiles that one to Cam Brown. What a big catch earlier in the first half, but this is just a slant, and he, let, he allows it to get into the second window. He can hit a receiver right out of his break in the first one or allow him to pass a Mond and company from the 46. Four-man rush by Vandy. Pass nice. complete. And Kellen Mond starting to heat up a little bit. That's Chapman again. Spiller takes it left side, breaks a tackle at the 40. Inside the 30 and tripped up at the 15-yard line. Finally brought down by Randall Haney. Boy, second and one. It's Spiller time. Nice job up front by the Aggie offensive line. And, hey, he's shaking tacklers. And a nice job in terms of his speed and getting vertical up the field. No wasted movement. Now they're clicking. Well, on to starting to catch fire on this drive. Looking to throw here. All kinds of time. End zone. And overshoots his intended target. Intended for the back, Anaya Smith. Now in motion. Mond in the pocket. Looking end zone again. And in and out of the hands of Smith. Yeah, pretty good. Now third down and ten, and moving on the line. The, the miscues continue for the Aggies. I don't know. This may be this may be Vanderbilt jumping and influencing Carson Green to move. The layup game. Offense number eleven. Five yard penalty. Third down. Maybe the next two weeks, really. Mon flushed out, looking to run. And inside the 10, some tough hits all the way to the seven yard line. Brought the small, the junior. And 
He is true on this one. Now the Aggies settle for three and lead it by five. Fourth quarter of his first start. I love he's it. been unfazed and he's doing it against a pretty stout Texas A&M defense. Another return man taking it seven yards deep out of the end zone and another little bit the route fall. This is kind of what we should expect, isn't it? It really is. Seals, nobody open, just going to fight for whatever yards he can get. Not a bad. Aggies show blitz, then peel back. Oh, buddy Johnson. Not much doing on the ground for Mark. A lot to like about this Aggies defense. Third and six. High throw, reeled in, but short of the first down on the reception by Marlowe. Smith back to receive. And a signal for the fair catch on the back pedal at the 23-yard line. Isaiah Spiller seven yards away from 100. And this time, it's going to be Anaya Smith on the carry. Boy, does he got some wiggle in his game right before the Texas Bowl last year. And keeping it on the ground this time. It's Spiller breaking free. Over 100 yards on the night. And down to the 41-yard line in plus territory, tripped up by Jerkins. Well, I tell you what, what an excellent job. He's just a smooth runner. Smooth and powerful. Nice cut there and almost got himself freed up for a, a sprint to the 16.7 yards per carry. Yeah, a couple big ones tonight. 30-yarder and a 57-yarder for the sophomore. False start. Offense number 28. Five yard penalty. Nice first down. Snake bites somebody every year. First and 15. A little slant. Reeled in by Jalen Preston. The sophomore ball squirts out. Well, it looks like they're the rolling it down, but it may be worth a look. Initially, I thought they called him down. And, uh, Davion Davis. His reaction. Not sure. Not sure good. when the ball squirts up. Yeah, good luck telling from that angle. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. Get out. And he's able to get the ball on the ground or actually come up with a fumble. Now Ken Seals, the freshman, goes to work under heavy pursuit and wisely just throws it away. If he is nervous, he's certainly not showing it. Misfires on that throw. Great coverage. Cam Johnson really could not separate that top. Now. Quick drop. Heavy pressure. Going to get out of the pocket and going to tuck it and run. Gets rocked at midfield, but good yardage. I don't think they're going to snap it. Not yeah. with him being under center. Wakefield wow. behind him. They do snap it, and it's play action to Wakefield. First down, beautiful call by Todd Fitch, the <laughs> OC, and beautiful execution by the freshman. A one-possession game. Seals hands off Wakefield, gets to the edge, shoved out of bounds. And the gun. And then you see so he's got you fooled thinking, oh, they're just going to not snap it and bark signal. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Oh boy. Defense number five. 15-yard wow. penalty from the end of the run. First down. That's on Bobby Brown, and that big mistake. Now first down. And lowering the shoulder and plowing ahead is Wakefield in the red zone. With time. Seals now no time brought down. That's when you gotta be coached up. To the point of hey get rid of it you get to the top of your drop the ball's got to come out it's because you can't pump any momentum into this AM defense more than enough time to sail the football and you should be stepping up to escape because the pressure you feel it coming from the outside it's a step up you got leal coming full speed from the blind side you're not going to outrun him so step up into the pocket or just throw the football away and come back on third down. 
First AM sack of the night. Third and 17 over the middle. Tipped up in the air and accepted. Picked off by Leon O'Neill. O'Neill knocked out of bounds near uh, the 40, 15. and that might be a late flag. It is indeed a frustration penalty on Vanderbilt, and now tempers flaring on the sideline. Chris Pierce took an extra shot, and that'll help the Aggies get some more yardage. This clock, but you get points on the back end of it. Mon over the middle. Almost intercepted in and out of the hands of Jalen Weidermeyer. And I got to say, it's not been a great game for Weidermeyer tonight, but in fairness, his grandmother passed away recently, probably playing with a heavy heart tonight. Yeah, and a lot of people on Absolutely. Lacey rest in peace, no doubt. On second down, Mont flares it out far side. Nice run after catch by Chase Lane. There's six minutes to go on third down and one to the ground game. Wow. I don't think so. Spiller brought backwards. Great pursuit, but on fourth and one. Mon hands it to oh Spiller. Boy. Fumbled football. I believe Andy's got it. But on times, and it cost him there on fourth down and one. Home run ball on first down. And good coverage on the play. That's to start this drive. Second down and 10 under five minutes ago in this game. Little dump off pass underneath. Aggies read it. Aggies stuff it. Not much doing that time right now. That never would have thought this would be a one possession game in the fourth quarter. Third and 11. And the Aggies get a sack. No answer for Michael Clemens, the junior college transfer. They have raved about the fall camp that Michael Clemens has had. Consider one of the best jun junior college pass rushers coming out a couple of years. The night for that Aggies defense. And boy, do they need it to come up in a big way on that drive, and they got him. Fair catch hall. Most in the in the in his mind Vanderbilt does have two timeouts remaining nice stick in the hole that time on second down and nine Mon from the gun rolling out left he's going to keep it himself is drilled at the 40 yard line but tonight down in Baton Rouge or today rather down in Baton Rouge Mon on third and five and wide open in the flat is Preston and he'll Lunge forward for some extra yardage, but move the chains for the Aggies. Inning. Smith stuck near the line of scrimmage, jammed up by a number of Commodore defenders. Same, but the leadership, the intangibles, at a different point right now. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct against the Vanderbilt head coach. 15 yard oh, penalty. No. Automatic first down. You know you have that rule where he can't come on the field and probably giving someone Yep on the field and that's the Aggies Smith dots the eye Gets the carry and goes down at the line A lot of bodies around. I don't think many people thought this would be a five-point game Aggies are gonna win it but they are going to escape in a lot of ways. Derek Mason still fired up. And the Commodores, a valiant effort on the road against a top 10 team, but Texas A&M really picked it up offensively, Andre, in the second half. Yeah, they did. I mean, you, you got Spiller going, Anaya Smith made some plays, Kellen Mond through the air. He made you know, some plays with, Je with uh, Jalen Preston. Uh, Caleb Chapman may be the go-to receiver at 6'5", 195, certainly down in the red zone. And then you had Cam Brown step up. So some young players starting to surround their veteran quarterback in Kellen Mond.